we see this as well, this phenomena in our females. When women live in close proximity together, we menstruate together. In ancient times, and it's been documented for millennia, women were, who were so connected to the earth, they lived outdoors, they spent their lives outdoors. They menstruate at the new moon. It's all part of the rhythm and cycle that we are all part of. What's interesting to note about this is that we're changing that. We've changed it for probably the past 500 years. Today in America, especially in North America, we inhibit these and other natural cycles as we spend much of our lives indoors away from natural light. It segregates us too from the trees and plants that feed us oxygen, gives us the air that we so need. We dedicate enormous amounts of time and energy towards managing stress-filled situations. This creates toxins in our bodies and suppresses our immune system. We ignorantly fill our bodies and the bodies of our children with food that doesn't nourish us or them. And we create whole lifestyles around sustaining these things as if they were normal with very little consideration to how our actions impact others. Now I know I'm in a room where I'm preaching to the choir, but that's part of what I typically say to people. We all know better, and we're part of a movement that is changing this unconscious paradigm where we are now mindfully recognizing that we are connected and making choices that are helpful to each other and helpful to ourselves. 